Okay, so I was asked a question, like when you're feeling out extreme feelings or withdrawal, between the observer and feel the feelings, how do you know which one to use? Um, so that can be like, you know, when I, when I use the word withdrawal, that's a generic term to fe feeling out trauma, feeling out the fear of death, feeling out donut uh, withdrawal, addiction, with, uh, coconut. Why is it so coconuts? <laughs> but I'm not, I've gone coconuts, but anyway. Um, love addiction withdrawal, uh, toxic relationship withdrawal. So there's an extreme feeling that comes up when you, le when you let go of something. Uh, and um, so how do you know whether you use the observer or feel the feelings uh, with that? Well, generally speaking, most people, when they're, if they're new, uh, will find feel the feelings easier to do uh, when things are, and especially if you've got an overwhelm of feelings it's usually easier to do feel the feelings at that stage so stop labeling or identifying a story with what's going on and, and let go of all your internal mental resistance to the feelings that are arising and just let it come full force up full force up and do that um, if you're, if, you're, if you're reasonably good at being the witnesser of feelings and the witnesser of thoughts, uh, you, can, you can also do that. You allow your intuition to guide you. You can also do, even though it sounds odd, it eventually becomes almost a simultaneity, um, whereby what's happening... Remember, the idea of a you feeling the feelings or a you observing is a dualistic idea. It's, an, there's a, it's the idea that there's a separate you who feels, or it's the idea that there's, um, there's a you, thank you, that is observing. So if you keep doing both of them, the, the illusory idea that there's a you feeling the feeling starts to dissolve because you're letting go of the idea of, of a thinker, yes? And if you're in the observer of thoughts, then the idea that there's a separate you observing also dissolves. So at a certain point, it becomes like consciousness of the universe is allowing energies to be experienced, and it's also being, or you could say it's also being simultaneously being witnessed to be arising in consciousness without there being a separate identified identity doing the actions of feel the feelings or observing. So to answer that question, you just allow intuitively what to do. But generally, most people who are beginners find feel the feelings easier than, than the observer. Yeah.